welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida. I create content on beauty, lifestyle, and vlogs. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and give this video a like if you enjoy it. Today we are going to be creating a Valentine's inspired makeup look. So if you want to see how this video goes down, carry on watching and let's get right into it. a bit of got to be gel on my eyebrows this is just to keep the brow hairs up and in place and if you're wondering why my brows look like they've already been filled in I have microblading so yeah whilst the gel on my brows is drying down. I'm gonna go in with my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in the shade SX12. I'm gonna use that to clean up the bottom part of my brows. I'm drinking a smoothie while I'm filming this video because I'm starving and I I need to eat. Okay, um, so for my base, I'm going to start with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm going to put that all over my face. For foundation today, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty 4 filter foundation in the shade Cinnamon. I'm going to use about 2 pumps. I'm going to go ahead and buff it out with my Real Techniques foundation brush. Wow, the foundation is coming off really yellow on camera, but it's really not that yellow. Then I'm gonna go all over my face with a damp sponge to pick up any excess and to do some extra blending. For cream contour, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Please Stick Foundation in the shade Sokoto. Then I'm going to buff it out with my Real Techniques Contour Brush. And I'm gonna use what is left on my brush to go over my chin and jawline area. I'm gonna leave the contour on my nose to sit for a bit while I highlight. And for highlighting, I'm gonna use two concealers. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral. And then the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. I'm gonna put the e.l.f. Concealer in the innermost corners of my under eye area. And then I'm gonna use the Warm Sand all over my face. Whoops. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and buff the concealer into my skin. I'm using my brush from Colorbox Cosmetics. There are a lot of beds outside my window for some reason today. They're chirping away. I don't know if you can hear that. So I'm going to go in with a sponge. And then I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush to blend out the edges. And back in with the contour brush to blend the edges as well. Now I'm going to go in with my brush from Morphe to blend out the cream contour I had on my nose earlier. Then I'm going to go back in with my brush that I blended my highlights with just to apply a little bit of the remaining concealer on my eyelids because we're going to be doing eyeshadow today just to prime them. I'm going to go back in with just a little bit more concealer from e.l.f. Then I'm going to go in with my sponge. Then I'm going back in with my foundation brush to smoothen things out and then again with my contour brush to smoothen things out as well. Before I set, I'm gonna go under my eyes one more time to make sure that there are no creases. And of course on top of my eyelids to blend out any creases I'm gonna use my puff I'm gonna go in with my pressed powder from one size and I'm gonna use that to set my under eye area just very lightly just to set that concealer in place Just like so and then I'm gonna go in with my easy big powder from Huda then I'm gonna push that under my eyes and I'm gonna set everywhere else that I applied the concealer to
For the rest of my face, I'm gonna set it with my LA Pro powder in the shade Classic Tan. And I'm gonna push that in with my Real Techniques powder brush. For bronzer, I'm gonna use one from Juvia's Place. This is in the shade Tan. I am going to uh, mix these two shades and I'm gonna be applying that on the hollows of my cheekbones. Then my forehead. and the jawline and chin for my nose i'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush and these two shades and i'm gonna use that to go over my nose contour that i applied earlier looks pretty good for the most part so i'm gonna go back in with my powder from huda i'm just going to put some powder on my under eye area to catch any fallout and i'm just going to use that to you know clean up the sides of the bridge of my nose and do a bit of reverse contouring I'm going to put some powder in my smile lines then the rest of the powder I'm just going to leave under my under eye area not necessarily pushing it in I'm just leaving it on that area we will dust it off a little later dust it off a little later so i'm gonna just fill my eyebrows in real quick i'm using my juvia's place um pencil i'm just gonna follow the shape because we used a bit of brow gel earlier I'm gonna go ahead and leave my eyebrows as is. I'm not gonna clean up the top part. I like this look. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Culture Palette. I reviewed this palette a few months ago. So I'll probably link that video above for you guys to see, but it's an amazing palette. And I love that the colors have names and it has a wide range of colors. For today's look, I'm gonna do like a pink. I'm gonna go for a pink uh, vibe. So I'm gonna use the shade Benin, this shade right here. I'm gonna put that into my crease. Just, you know, stamp that at the outer V first and I'm going to just blend that out into my crease. It's a very soft pink and we want like a pink base. I would usually use a bronzer or a brown or a light brown color if I was doing a very soft glam look, but this is, Kind of like a soft glam look but a pink soft glam look so yeah i'm gonna put that here as well you know i'm stamping it and i'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse that into my i'm gonna bring that in here 
We're gonna go into the shade Kobo, this shade right here. It's a deeper pink, so I'm gonna just stamp that here. As you can see, it's a much, much deeper pink. So you wanna look up just like so, and you just wanna keep diffusing that into your outer V, just like this. And as it gets diffused more, you wanna just bring that into your crease. Just like so, just to mix with the other pink you used earlier. So you realize that the pink is a little bit more concentrated here. So that looks good. So yeah, that's what you want to keep doing. You stamp it right here. You just want to keep diffusing that, using that. And you're going to... So it should kind of look like this. Okay, so I'm going into the shade Ethique. It's giving very white diamond shade in the camera, but yeah, hopefully you guys can see. It's kind of like a white, gold, pink situation. So yeah, I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid, just like so. You want to put that all the way up, just like a fake cut crease. So you're looking up like this. So you can give the illusion that you have a bigger or you have more eyelid space. I don't have a lot of eyelid space, so this is what I like to do. So it looks as though I have more eyelid space, but I really don't. So yeah, I'm going to do the same here. You want to start off here and feel where your eyeball kind of ends. Yeah, so that's where you're going to put the color. So it should kind of look like this. And then we're going to put in a little bit of purple. But we are going in with a tiny brush so that we can focus the color just at the ends so i'm gonna go in with this very dark purple color this one so i'm gonna just focus that on my outer v area just to deepen that side a little bit to give it a little bit of smokiness to it just a little bit of smoke just like so i think i want to go in with a little bit of black honestly i'm gonna go into nuban beauty ultra palette and i'm gonna go in with this black shade this matte black and i'm gonna use that to line and i'm gonna do the same to this side Just to give this look a little bit of depth. So you see, you have a little bit of depth going on here. So I'm gonna do the same here. So I'm just going back in with the black. Just putting that on the outer V area of the eye. Where I should have put the purple. I mean, or where I put the purple. So I'm just patting that there. And then I'm going in with a tiny brush. A tiny blending brush. I'm going to go back in with the shade Kobo. And I'm going to use that into the black. And I'm just going to kind of smoke it out. Now I'm going back in with my blending brush and I'm just, you know, blending this all out into my outer V area. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line my eyes with a black liner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it out with the pink that I used earlier. So 
this is what the eye looks like of course i'm gonna go in with some eyelashes for the meantime you can see that we have some fallout here so i'm gonna use my setting brush to kind of just flake it off I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder to clean up. should kind of look like this. For blush today, I'm gonna be using two. I mixed these two up and I really liked how they look I and mean, this is coming off as ashy but it's a pink blush and this is coming off as a very deep plum blush it has a bit of specks of highlighter in it so I really like it this is from Milani by the way so I'm gonna go in with my real techniques blush brush and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the blush I'm gonna connect it to the eye makeup so it should kind of look like this So I'm gonna go in with this blush now. This is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. And I'm just going to tap that on top of the pink blush just to soften it up. I know it looks like a lot of blush, but I love it. I love it. I love this so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Fix Plus. I'm waiting for my eyelashes to dry down. For highlighter, I want to use this Royal Icing Diamond Balm from Fenty. So I'm going to apply that into my inner corners just to open up the eye makeup. That's a little bit more. It gives like a full glam effect. I'm going to apply some on my brow bones. Love it. And the tip in the bridge of my nose also the high point of my cheekbones i love this highlighter this this is definitely a full full glam for my full glam girls so bomb so i'm gonna apply my eyelashes eyelashes definitely definitely have elevated this look so i'm really really loving it i'm gonna put um some mascara from um nuban beauty love this mascara so much it just takes my lower lash line to a different level Just look at my lower lashes. I saw this trick somewhere. I want to try it out. I think I love this. <laughs> it's so cute. So for my lips, I am going to be applying a very pink lipstick today. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with my Juvia's Place um, lip liner. When I find a lip liner I love, I definitely abuse it. So.
I'm gonna use this shade um, from Fenty Beauty. This is called Unlocked and I'm gonna put that on the lips. get into it love this look i'm obsessed i really love how this look turned out yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something new and let me know if you be using the entire tutorial or picking bits from this video to create your own type of look let me know what you think down below kindly give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video it really really helps me out a lot also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we would like you to join the fam please <laughs> Everything that I use will be listed down below in the description box. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>